Hey guys, so it is the 4th of July. It's currently 5.24 a.m. Just woke up, got ready, waiting for my mum and then me and her are gonna open it together because I need moral support. If you guys have seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that I've had quite a shit year this past year and exams did not go well but yeah i'm just really happy to be done i'm pretty certain that i am going to get a 2-1 which i'm happy with again grades are relative and success is relative but yeah it was just my personal goal to get a first and i know i haven't got that so i'm not really looking forward to opening the results to be honest but i thought i might as well do it and i think my mum's here Hi. hey <laughs> come in oh my beautiful mum has joined me how are you feeling? Yeah, right, because she was very, very hard studies and gave her full effort and study, 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 but uh, some exams went wrong, I think, especially one after her, she was crying, crying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, after the econometrics exam, your girl was crying for at least 48 hours. So yeah, I had a bit of a breakdown. For that one exam, I am I think I might even have to retake it. I've never had to do a retake in my life, but I feel like today might be the day that I find out that I have to do a retake. So I'm just hoping that I got over 40 in that econometrics exam. Whilst I'm logging in, I'll just quickly go through the grades that I got previously. So in my second year of uni, I got 74, which is worth 35% of my overall university grade. In my first semester of final year, which is my January exams, I got 75 overall. Um, which is worth 32.5% and final semester grades is what I'm going to look at now and that will be worth 32.5% as well um, so I do have like a little model thing which is right here and I do need 59.2 to get a 70 overall but I don't even think I got that this semester but yeah, let's log in <laughs> I don't want to do this Oh yeah, and I do economics and finance by the way for anyone that doesn't know at Surrey University Oh my god, it's all a mess so what they've done is they've combined all my modules from first semester and second semester. So let me find my second semester modules. Okay, econometrics. Oh my god! Okay, econometrics, that was a really hard exam. Yeah, which is? I got 48. Wow! 48! What? You have the chance to get the first class. Check it, check it. Okay, wait, wait, 48. one second. Are you sure? What are your parents? Yeah, yeah, it says 48. Okay, so for econometrics, in the 70% exam, I got 48. That's the exam that I thought I failed. So in my 30% test for econometrics, I got 80. In my 70% test, I got 48. So overall, I got 58. Oh my god, I passed the module. <gasps> 58. 58. So that's, that's a, something you want for the two two. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, but it is the one you want to get. Yeah, the... I'm happy. I don't need to retake it. Okay, next module, money and banking. Um, In the class test, I got 63. In the 70% exam, I got 69. Wow, that's a hard one, as well. Yeah, it was it was an okay one. one. Um, oh my god, you're proper shaking. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's going to be some good news, no? I don't know. That's we'll it. see. We'll see. Um, money and banking. So overall was sixty seven. Yeah. And then the next one is corporate finance. Oh my god, I love corporate finance. Seventy. Overall. Um, in my thirty percent exam, I got sixty two. Yeah. In my seventy percent exam, I got eighty five. Wow, eighty five. <laughs> Yeah. So, so overall, for that module, I got 78. 70. Um, and then the final module of this semester was International Finance, which was another exam that I cried for. Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah. The last one I cried as well, because I did shit. Um, in my 30% exam, I got 75. In my 70% exam, I got 68. Yeah! Wow! So, so I got 70. Nice. Well, we need to calculate it, because all oh, these people, man, they're pissing me off because they don't say the overall grade, but I think I got first. Yeah, you got a first. What? I can't see that. Okay, wait, let me calculate it. So I'm just going to calculate my averages, so for this semester, okay, so overall I got 70 in one module, um, wow. 78 in another module, 58 yes. in another module, and then money and banking, 67, so let me just see, so my overall for this semester is 68.25. Yes! yes. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I did it! Yeah! Wow! What? Wait, let me calculate that again because this is. No, you look poor, my dangler. No, they don't say overall. Wait, look, they, I don't believe this. Okay, wait, one second. I'm gonna calculate again because I don't. I'm in disbelief right now. But I've got a model, so let me put it in. So if I put sixty-eight point two five, my average is in total seventy-two. Seventy-two point four five. Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, did it! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I love you so much! Congratulations, but hard work and 
and studies oh. will let you go, you know, let you down. Yeah, wow, you got your target. Oh you got God. to achieve your thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm summarize all the overall grades for final year. So in semester one, I did behavioral economics, which I got 70 in, derivatives markets, which I got 84 in, time series econometrics, which I got 82 in, international trade, which I got 64 in, and then this semester, topics in applied econometrics, I got 58, money and banking, 67, corporate finance, 78, and international finance, 70. So those were the eight modules. So that means my semester one average of final year was 75. My semester two average of final year was 68.25, which means that overall for final year, my average was 71.625. My second year grade was 74. So again, that just averages out to 72.45 overall for my degree. <laughs> So my overall grade is 72.45. I don't know if they're gonna round it up or down, I don't care. I got my first, I'm done, I got my first. I can't believe and it. And the maths and the maths is not failed. That's made me everything, you know. Oh wow, that's fine. You said even you didn't get 30, it's 48. 48? What? I don't understand. What are you offering a lunk Yeah, let me just double yes, check. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just really shocked right now because I did not expect that whatsoever. Oh, no, crying. She was crying for a month. All best. She got first. <laughs> Amma's just exposing me, but yeah, I have been crying so much this month because I just felt like I really let myself down and I just need a bit of time for myself to like, yes. like process this because I can't believe it, genuinely. No. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, it is you. first, it is first. Thank you so much for being there for me the whole year, for all these three years. You are the reason I got a first. Honestly, a big shout out to my mum, who has been my number one supporter. Whenever I fail an exam, she never tells me, oh, I'm disappointed or anything like that. She's always just like, oh, it's okay, you tried your best. She's the most supportive, because loving. Because I know, she studies hard, she tried her best, always. Honestly, so, yes. my mum... There's nothing else to do, you know? There's Mm. I love you oh, so, so oh, much. We did it. Yes. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly a group effort. We did it together because she boy, did it. She no, did we it. did it. After she every exam, it. I used to call my mum and talk for an hour and just give her like a full breakdown. Like my mum used to listen to me rant on and on and on and on. And she's been my therapist this year. She's been my counsellor. She's been everything. My best friend, everything. And I honestly could not have done this without my yeah. beautiful mum. Oh, I'm so happy. My daughter got a first in her uni exam. Oh, oh yeah. I'm so happy. We never, not in my family, nobody. No one has gone to uni. Uni, yeah. I'm the first person. First one and first. Yeah. Can we just give a bit of background? When I came to this country, when I was four years old, I couldn't even speak English. Isn't it? You, you speak a little bit, you know, like a broken English. Broken. I was a freshie. <laughs> so, Indian English, you know yeah. what? There's hope for everyone. I came to this country as a freshie when I was four years old, couldn't speak English, was bullied pretty much all throughout school, high school, whatever. Your girl came out with a first. So, you know what? If I can do it, honestly, anyone can do it. And anyone that's at uni right now, guys, do not give up. You just have to revise, put the work in, and you can do it. Your grade is equivalent to how much work and hours you put in. It's not dependent on your IQ or anything like that. So do not give up, revise, and honestly, achieve your goals, man. It's so rewarding. It really is. Oh, it's a, <laughs> oh, it's a great feeling, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is. I can't stop smiling. But yeah, I, I'm still, we're both shaking. Yeah. No, you're not shaking I anymore. I was shaking, but not yeah. anymore, yeah. Are you going to be late for work? No, no, copy what I'm doing. It's fine, I'm already ready. Okay, you can, okay. Know, you can make your tea. I'm okay. just going to talk to the camera. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god! Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just said in Tamil that she's going to call everyone and speak on the phone. She's such a Tamil mum. So yeah, that's pretty much my marks. I know this is quite a rushed video, but that's just because my mum has work, so obviously I don't want to make her late. But all my marks in detail will be down below. I'll have my second year and my final year marks. And also congratulations to anyone that's got their results, whether you're in first year, second year, final year, anything. And it doesn't matter if you've got a first, a 2-2, two -two, a 2-1, two 
a pass, it does not matter, you've done it, just be proud, getting through uni is such a struggle in itself, so your grade really does not define you, and the only reason I put so much pressure on myself to get a first is because that's a personal goal, it's not because I need a first to get a job or anything like that. For most graduate jobs you need a 2-1 and that is pretty much it, and even for people that get 2-2s, two there's still so many jobs available, and for all the OG supporters who have been with me since my freshers week moving in vlogs in 2015, Big shout out to you, honestly I appreciate the support so much and it's just so nice seeing comments saying oh yeah I've been following you since like 2015. <laughs> I'm still celebrating in the corner there. <laughs> I can't believe it, I am in the moon, I'm in the moon, I'm in the moon. Oh my god, she just said I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> You mean you're over the moon? Okay, I'm over the moon. Yeah, I'm over the moon. My mum and my housemates have been my rock throughout university and I love you all so much. Girls, if you're watching this, I love you so much man and thank you for putting up with me. My graduation is on the 17th and then my graduation ball is on the 19th so I am going to be going back to Surrey and I've got my dress and stuff so that's really exciting. I can't wait to get all like glammed up. Also I did get quite a few DMs from people at Surrey University who were in second year and they were asking me about module choices so obviously I can only talk on the modules that I've done and in my opinion, if I was to go back and do final year again, the only two modules that I would change is my econometrics modules. So in first semester, um, econometrics, I actually did get 82, which was one of my highest marks, but I would still change that module. I do not recommend time series econometrics. It was ridiculously hard. I didn't understand too much until the very end. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend econometrics. Even though I did get a good grade in that module, I would not have chosen that. I would have done something else. And likewise, in semester two, the only module that I would change is, again, econometrics. This one is called Topics in Applied Econometrics. And I got 58 overall, but again, um, it was just such a hard exam and again just don't i just don't recommend it so yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for everyone that has been watching my videos all my uni vlogs all the uni videos i did film a day in the life of a university student final year edition and a week in the life of a university student so i do have a lot of editing to do but yeah if you've got any questions or anything like that please leave them down below and i will try and answer all the questions congratulations to everyone that has got their results. Hope you all have an amazing summer. Bye.